Hello, this is Michelle Nye, and this is the astrological update for Aries for the whole of April. Now, April is a very, very intense month for you. First of all, we've got Venus, the planet of love, making you feel like you want to communicate, that there's important things that you've got to say, like the whole world is revolving around love on one level. However, you're not quite as soft as usual, and in some ways, you're a little bit confused. Mercury, the planet of communication, which is in your 12th house, goes di direct, and you'll start to feel a bit better about the way that you can communicate on the 4th. And around that time, you'll be very, very eager to express your emotions, but it seems to come out as an idea rather than a feeling. Make sure you're opening up to your vulnerability, your softness, and uh, an ability to speak from your heart. Sometimes you rush around and you're bold and you're fearless and you're heroic, but you can forget that other people may be a bit overwhelmed by you. But if you open up your gentleness and your love, everything should go according to plan. Now, there is an astonishing full moon on the 6th, which is in your 7th house. But it is, um, but also rather, you have Mars retrograde in the 6th, opposite Neptune. And that's creating this confusion. Do you want a relationship? Are you happy in the relationship that you've got? Do you want to be on your own? There's a part of you very confused about lots of things, but you're also feeling that you need to focus on relationships and you want love. So only you can decide and only you can find that balance. If you're not in a relationship, you might be thinking, well, what sort of relationship do I want? But it's all very kind of intense and on your mind. And this whole month you're thinking about it. But as I said, it's important that you feel it, not just think it and not just feel that you have to act for the sake of acting. That's one of our traits because I'm an Aries. We feel that we want to sort something out. So we make a snap decision, an impulsive decision. Don't do that this month. Take your time. And what else? The other great news for you, Aries, this month is your ruler Mars goes direct on the 14th. Thank goodness you feel as if you've got your va 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 voom back. You may be feeling a bit flat. You may have been pondering the past. You may have been stuck in the past, which is very not like you. You may have had to think about things and, and feel, almost feel as if your energy was totally on the floor. So from the 14th, you're back to being your bouncy, optimistic, gorgeous self. So we got going on. We've got Mercury, the planet of communication in Aries, and that's on the 16th. And you're like, yeah, now I'm going to speak my truth e even more. But again, you have to avoid the tendency because it's in your sign. It's accentuating all of your characteristics. Avoid being too rash and impulsive or laying down lines for people. Allow yourself to use the best of your communication skills, which are being childlike, which are being optimistic, which are being encouraging. And that way you make the most of the planet being in your sign. We also have a new moon in your second house, which is great, and that's on the 21st. So there's a part of you that's going, right, this is it. I'm laying new foundations. I'm digging in. I'm allowing myself to really focus on my home, on my security, and on my finances. Anyway, it's gonna be a great month if you want it to. Kiki and I say have a fabulous April and we'll speak to you soon.